Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Grants coming back with another video on the Karuk event. Had some people ask me some questions about it. Um, so I have a couple tips and tricks. Also, people were asking how much you can get from the Karuk event. So I have some recordings on some of the rewards. And if you have any questions, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so that I can answer them and help you guys out. Hopefully this will help some of the new players. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Coming back with this video on the Karuk event. Um, just one thing that I want to bring up before I dive into this and I don't want to take too long is that I've seen some videos and actually talked with some people about Ronnie's situation. Um, so to all the players, um, content creators, everybody who's going through this pandemic and is suffering or hurting, maybe sick in the hospital, um, lost family members because of it. I just want you guys to know that me and my family are praying for you guys. Um, I hope for a swift recovery. I hope for grace and peace to be in your hearts, um, for strength through the times. If you did lose a loved one, I just want you guys to know that because there is a lot of stuff other than just games going on. Um, so we hope the best for everybody. And if any of, uh, Ronnie's people are listening or watching, um, just letting you know that we are praying for you heavily. Um, but let's get into the video about the Karuk event. As you guys can see behind me right here, this is the Karuk event, the ceremony. Um, you can, uh, choose the difficulty or the level for the Karuk ceremony, meaning there are five levels, hell being the hardest. This is nightmare mode. I just did it really quick. Um, so the benefits down here that you can see. They do change depending on the difficulty that you do, um, and the bosses are harder um, as you go. Now, these rewards down here are what you get at the very end, meaning that once you've completed it, the Karuk ceremony, the countdown has uh, went all the way down, you get a mail and you get the total of these. Now, as you're going through and killing them, like levels 1 through 50, uh, you get rewards every so often, every so many, you know, bosses that they have in here, you get some minor rewards and they are minor. They're nothing major like, uh, more sculptures and stuff. Um, but as you can see in the tab, you have the individual and the Alliance. So the individual ones, uh, are simple for you, meaning you click them, you spend your AP pots, challenge it it shows up on the map now you can send out up to five marches most of the time i would only recommend doing one or two until it gets pretty difficult and then doing more um if you get to five marches and you struggle with beating it when one of your marches dies you can send out a fresh march again to that uh that boss so that he doesn't like completely kill off everything and then you have to start all over again or you have the choice to click the help button in which you ask for help and people can actually attack it because nobody can really attack your guy no matter if he's on the map or not um, and you like have to log off for an hour or so. Um, also, you can rally them. You can ask for a rally. You click rally as you would rallying anything uh, like barb forts and uh, everybody gets some goodies from it. So I would recommend at the very end, regardless if you need it or not, sometimes if people are on, it's nice to uh, share the wealth and uh, do a rally so that you can, uh, uh, you know, give them some rewards off of it. Now, like I said, that's just the individual. Then you have the alliance. So I did a little bit of a recording um so that we could see a little bit. So these are some of the different levels, like I'm working on my current progression and what the benefits of that are. Um, then you go to the Alliance. So once, and you can see the criteria here, once the criteria has met, at least 35 Alliance members must have completed challenge 35 on held difficulty or higher. So like I said, you have multiple things taking place here. So uh, they have to progressively get more and more, meaning that, you know, all the different levels 
have to be met. And once you meet them, you can go on to the next one. Um, so like if you choose one as an individual, the next Karuk event, you would be able to go higher. Not the same one, but the next Karuk event, you would be able to go higher. But as an alliance, whoever chooses what kind of dictates how far you can go. So as you can see, we're going to click on this one. This first one, the one that I read before was the most drastic one. The first one says 15 uh, members and then 15 on normal. Then we go to the second one right here is 20 alliance members, 20 on the hard difficulty. The third one, 25 members, 40 on the hard difficulty. The 30 members, 30 on the nightmare. And then the next one is 35 on the 35 hell. Now, as you can see, the potential rewards, meaning what could happen, are listed here. And as you can see, there are gold sculptures. So that's what everybody kind of goes after. But as you begin to attack it, you don't know exactly what type of rewards um, you're going to get. So this is us attacking and I'm going to show you some of the different rewards that I got. So as you can see, I got a gold sculpture on this one. Definitely some good XP and uh, some speed ups just off of that. And everybody gets different things. So you can see they kind of randomly uh, happen. This one I got Dazzling Starlights. Um, and I mean, it, it, it varies a lot, but... I mean, the rewards are good for something that's completely free. Right here, the stone, more XP to be able to do it. Dazzling Starlight's always worth just spending 15 to 20 minutes doing uh, these bosses or whatever. And usually, your alliance would get together and say, hey, this is a time. We're going to activate this. Everybody meet up at a certain point, and we're all going to swarm uh, these bosses together and get these rewards. And so, waiting for this to end. So, one thing that I wanted to bring up about the bosses, and I'm going to do this just as a, a simple illustration. So, you have the Karuk boss right here, and all these yellow are like little marches uh, within it. So, let's say everybody goes around it, right? The first person... This guy right here, the first person that decides to click and he goes over when everybody says, all right, go. The leader says go and everybody goes to swarm this thing. The first person is going to take the brood of that hit and it goes rather fast. I mean, these things aren't exactly like uh, guardians or anything like that. Like they can they can kill you pretty quick. So then this guy swarms, this guy swarms, this one and so forth and so on. And they hit now. You have to be very careful about your health level because if you die and your march dies and it goes back, the Karuk boss's health regenerates. So it's not just going down, it's regenerating each time. So the more and more you die, especially as a weaker kingdom or uh, maybe a newer kingdom, the quicker you die, the worse this is going to get because you're never going to be able to kill them. So... One of the things that everybody does, um, it's kind of like pretty common knowledge, but a lot of people don't realize it, and I'm surprised how many people don't realize it, is that if you attack the Karuk boss and your health goes down, right, and there always is lag and there's always delay, so when it gets to half health, you pull away, you click off and you drag your march and you pull away, okay, because by the time that it finally makes you know it work on the server and it you know goes away and it's not attacking anymore your health is going to be almost gone okay but you would be like well i'm not going to get a reward that sucks i don't want that that is not true if you pull away and l allow some of these other people to come in and attack it so that it's continually being attacked while other people are pulling away pulling away as their health gets done everybody who has attacked that when it's done, we'll get the rewards. Every last person. Does not matter 
every person who singly hits it. Now, that doesn't mean that just because you don't want to have multiple marches, you know, you hit it one time and you back off of it because then <laughs> the boss is strong. It's it's not going to die. You have to have marches like continually attacking it. But if you have 20, 30 people attacking this thing, it's going to go down. So that is another tip and trick that I like to bring up to people is that you need to make sure that when you see your health halfway down, Pull back, pull off. You're going to get the reward. Don't worry. Send a couple marches so that, you know, you can keep on. Once again, it's only like five of them if you went. Most of the newer kingdoms, you're only going to have like two or three of them. But it's still gold sculptures and it's still free. So I just want to bring that up. Now, let's go over here to this. So here was some of my mail that I had that you saw. Some of the different rewards. Going all the way back. And then my final reward is when I completed everything. So it has nine legendary sculptures, quite a bit of XP, and more dazzling starlights. And some of these can get expensive, you know. Even with the VIP shop, 2000 each pop. You know what I mean? That's that's a pretty good uh, chunk of change. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, it helped a little bit with just understanding the Karuk event. Maybe you could share it with a newer kingdom, some newer players, some people who came in as just a simple, quick video so that they can understand the Karuk event. Anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.